What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here for breakfast. What did I have? I had a cheese bagel with um, normal cream cheese, not chive and onion cream cheese, and I had some coffee. This morning I wanted to wake up at 5, but instead I woke up at 5.30, which is fine. Um, I exercised, I walked 6 miles, I burned 962 calories, and I walked for an hour and 50 minutes. Um, Oh, I started exercising at 6.14, not 5.30 or something. No, I woke up at 5.30, I started exercising. I exercised from 6.14 to 8.21. Um, and my average heart rate was 129, and that was good. So once I did that, I took a shower. Um, then I just did some stuff on my computer. I fixed Peru. Um, Peru is the AUR helper I use because I recall something weird happening with Ye, and like the Ye dubs recommending to use Peru instead. I don't really know what that what was up with that, but I use Peru um, for my AUR helper, and I've been having this issue where it says it has like the wrong version of a package. Um, the fix was just for me to git pull in the um, Peru directory that I cloned, um, and then just uh, do make package si again. It sucked because because I, I had to download base double for sudo, but you know I don't I am I'm, I'm still do as pill. Um, I uninstalled sudo and I sim resim linked sudo to do as so. I still don't need do ads yet, but you know. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so once I did that, I uh, did my schoolwork, I did my finals, got a 95% on my Linux final, I got a 87%, no, an 84% on my CompTIA A plus final, uh, which is, 84 is a pretty good grade because, um, the passing grade for the CompTIA A plus exam to actually get the certification is 76%. So as long as I'm above 76% on all my quizzes, uh, I don't really care. That That's fine by me. Um, but I did screenshot what I had to work on. So then before I do the exam, I can actually study up on like the things I've forgotten and missed. Um, and yeah, then I did my software development um, class. I didn't I did my software development class and that was uh, I, the, the final for that. And I think I got an 100 on that, but we'll see. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I washed my bedding. Um, you can't tell, but it's clean now. Uh, it's nice because last weekend I forgot to wash my bedding, which I've done twice now ever since I started washing my bedding every day about six months ago. So it sucks sometimes, but um, you know, I'll go in bed, it'll be clean. Um, and I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, I also washed my jeans last night. I started to wash my jeans, uh, but I didn't put them out to dry. Um, it's actually nice because since it's sunny now, with transition, um, a high of 63 degrees and a low of 44 degrees, um, it's been sunny. It's sunny skies, you know? Um, so, um, ever since my sister moved into the room where I used to hang dry my clothes, um, I've needed a place to put my clothes and I dried them and I've been trying to figure it out. Uh, and I realized I could just put them outside. So, um, you know, I hung up my jeans on the clothes line that I normally put my clothes on in the summer, but, um, I still needed a place to put my shirts and if my jeans are on the clothes line, it kind of bows the whole clothes line down and I can't really use it for anything else because the jeans are very heavy. Um, uh, but um, I realized I could just put my clothing rack outside. I could just put my clothes rack outside with my shirts on them. Um, so now they're drying and it's great and they're almost dry. Um, putting my clothes outside does something special to them. It makes them smell a certain way that is very unique and cannot be replicated by some sort of artificial dryer scent. Um, and it makes them war it makes them um, it dries them really fast. It's kind of astonishing. Um, the only problem is that my jeans, um, I should have, you dry them inside out to prevent uh, sun bleaching, so the jeans are very deep blue, um, and if I have them not inside out facing toward the sun on one side of the jeans, they'll be a little uh, brighter um, if I keep drying them. Um, so you dry them inside out, right? Um, but the problem is that the thing you're supposed to do is you're supposed to have them facing the dr So when it's inside out you have the pockets on one direction um, So you're supposed to have the pocket side facing toward the Sun, but I forgot to do that this time because I haven't done it for two seasons um, so 
And so that I know the pocket's facing away from the sun, so I'm gonna have to have my jeans drying for another day because um, in between the pockets, like if you shove your hands between the pocket sort of bags and the jeans, uh, you can still feel a little bit of dampness and it just sucks. So I'm gonna have to leave it out for another day, but that's okay. Um, that just means it'll be extra dry. Um, but you know, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just hanging out now. Yeah. And for dinner, we're gonna have meatball soup. Yeah. I hope everybody's a wonderful day and yeah, see you dude.